If you ask most people where the hip joints are, they will think about it for a second and they will point. And if you'd like to do the same thing, if you can stand up and point to where you think your hip joints are, people end up pointing here, or here, or here, but actually that is not where the hip joints are. It's very clear when it's on the skeleton because what people are pointing to is they're pointing to the top of the pelvis or where they think the hip is, but you can actually see from the side that the actual joint is actually very low down. And that's actually where all the movement of the leg and the pelvis articulate from. So when people are thinking that that's where the hip joint is, they will bend in that area there. And you'll see it all the time. That actually people, what they're doing is they're bending the spine. So when they go to bend down to pick something up, they won't think of bending the hip joints or knee, they'll think of just bending their back. And this is the area that gets a lot of pressure. And a lot of people know where L4, L5 is, lumbar 4, lumbar 5, because that's a disc that keeps on coming out of place. And it does it because they're thinking that this is the hip joints, and when they bend, they're bending their back. And the back, as we've seen earlier, is not designed to bend. Here's a very good example of what a straight back. And there, the child is bending from where the hip joint really is. This person here is actually bending from where they think the hip joint is, which is the upper part of the pelvis. And you can see what actually is the distortion of the spine, and this will actually give him major problems. So he's bending over, but he's not bending any of the forward moving joints because he's under the impression that this is where the hip joint is. So this is how it can lead to many different uh, misconceptions. There are many, many different forms of body mapping, where your toes are, how long they are, where your ankle joint is. Um, it's worth spending a little bit of time investigating where joints actually do take place. And you can do this in any anatomy book. For more information about posture correction, please visit posturecorrectionblog.com.